Hello everyone, so it's Friday, time for another Friday Reads. Uh, it's gonna be a short one this uh, this week because I have not read much. Uh, I was doing other things, so it happens sometimes. The first book that I read was The Art of Losing by Alice Senator, and I had access to this book through NetGalley, so thank you to the publishers. Um, and it's coming out in March 2021, I believe. Um, it's already out in French, which is the original language, but it's going to come out uh, in English in 2021. Um, and this book is basically about a family that moves from Algeria to France and their travel and their struggles with their identity. And it follows the grandfather, who is the one that moved, and then the son um, that moved when he was little and the daughter of of that man, so three generations, and see how, how the perceptions change. Um, I have filmed a review, it should be up on Sunday, so if you're interested in that one, uh, you can go check that one out. Um, but yeah, I overall really enjoyed it. Um, I think it, it was a very interesting view on on uh, identity from an immigrant's point of view. So, so yeah, um, if you're interested, you can check that out. Uh, the other book that I finished uh, this week is The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dare. Uh, and this is basically about um, a young girl, she's 14 I think, in Nigeria. And um, her family has money problems, so um, her father decides that she needs to marry uh, someone that has more money in the, in the village. So she gets married off at 14 as a third wife. Um, and there are some events that happen then um, that um, make her run away to Lagos and then in Lagos she becomes a housemaid uh, for this other family um, and yeah she throughout this whole thing um, she always says I want to go to school that's what I want to do I don't want to be married I don't want to be serving people that don't treat me right I just want to learn things um and yeah we follow her in her struggles to be able to achieve what she wants from life aduni the the main character is this very strong um will girl and she will fight everything and she's happy despite all the bad things that have happened to her so it's very it's a very inspiring book it also reads a little bit young and it, the it is written in um in first person so it, it's written with the English that Aduni would have and because she's uh, a 14 year old from Nigeria from a, a village in which she didn't get a lot of education because her family did not have the money to do that um, her, her English is not always grammatically correct and that's how the book is written so be aware of that and it also is written from her perspective, so it does read young. I'm not sure if it, this is classified as young adult or or um, or not. Um, but yeah, I mean, that doesn't necessarily make the book bad. It's just, uh, for me, it was a bit of a simpler story that I'm used to. Um, but it was a good book. I, I, I enjoyed the story. Um, and yeah, it, it was it was an interesting one. So yeah, that's the other one that I finished this week. Um, currently, I am reading A Holiday by Gaslight from Mimi Matthews. Um, and this is a romance novel and it's basically set in, in Victorian times. And it follows um, the daughter of this novel family uh, and a rich uh, merchant um, that lives in London. Um, and they want to start a relationship because her family wants the money of this of this merchant and he is supposed to get in exchange the the titles um, and they start this uh, this courtship and they have uh, some um, misunderstandings because of uh, the class difference and they don't know how to act um, with each other so they both think that the other one doesn't like them um, and I assume that throughout the novel they will realize that they actually like each other and they will fall in love because it's a romance novel um, so yeah I mean it's very fast I have read it for a couple of hours and I'm already halfway through um, and it's fun but it's yeah it's just 
it's a, it's a romance novel. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to finishing it. I think probably I will finish it today um, because we have our book club discussion for it next week. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm reading at the moment. Uh, and for the things that I'm planning to read next week, I think I'm going to focus on these two. So the first one is uh, The Most Fun We Ever Had by Claire Lombardo, which is a family drama of a family with four daughters. Um, I don't know much more than that, but yeah, that's the, the general gist of it. Um, and then the other one that I have to read is Inland by Thea Obreth, um, which I understand is some kind of adventure, road trip kind of thing in the south of the US, um, something like that, um, in the late 1900s. Um, and yeah, basically the reason why I need to read this two this week it's because they are due in back in the library. So that's what I'm concentrating on. And if I finish those two, I might start the eighth life. But um, we'll see how, how I go. I, I haven't been reading that much lately. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully I will be able to. I don't have a lot of plans for next week. And here the uh, COVID restrictions have been um, extended so yeah th there is there is not going to be Christmas or anything um, in principle um, I don't really mind that much I never celebrate Christmas so um, fortunately it's not a big deal for me um, but yeah I, I expect that I will have quite a little bit of time to read if there is nothing going on um, so yeah that is my update a quick one this, this week um, but you know, we all have those weeks. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have read any of these books or if you're planning of, on reading any of them. Um, and let me know what you're reading um, this week. And until next video, bye.